Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing Testing Sports Girl Part 2. I asked you guys on my Twitter what kind of look you want to see. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I've got a bunch of new Sports Girl stuff. They've been bringing out amazing holiday releases which I will share with you guys. I've got two new palettes and a bunch of other new stuff. So I think I'm going to create a holiday look because a few of you guys on my Twitter said that you'd like to see a holiday look with the sports girl stuff so that's what I'm going to try and do today if you have Twitter please come and follow me I talk all things personal like it's more of a personal platform for me so if you guys have Twitter and you want to interact with me a bit more then please come and follow me on there also all my other social medias are linked down below but if you want to see how the sports girl makeup goes this time around then please just keep on watching okay so the first set that I'm going to go into is this set here sorry about the glare you guys if you can't see the product there it is there this one is called best in glow you get a time to prime illuminator an illuminating setting spray and then a limited edition glow drops of theirs I believe so this is the first product I'm gonna go into and just a little background on Sports Girl if you guys are from a different country other than Australia. Sports Girl is a department store here in Australia. They sell fairly affordable makeup, which I'm loving all their makeup I've tried so far. So yeah, they're a department store here in Australia that sell makeup. So yeah. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this Time to Prime Illuminating Face Primer. Now I have dry to normal skin just depending on the day oh this looks nice and glowy you guys it's pretty thick too which i was not expecting it to be thick wow it feels really good it's definitely very tacky i might try and take a little bit more that's given me a really nice glow now they have this set also which is the sculpt and glow set you get a highlight stick and a contour stick so on one side you get a bronzer a contour and then the other stick you get a highlighter matte and shimmery and you also get a little beauty blender so I'm gonna test this little beauty blender out so I'll show you guys what it looks like damp it feels kind of hard so if it doesn't soften and get bouncy then I'll just use my own but this is what it looks like dry I'm gonna go wet it and see what happens okay so here's the sponge wet it's definitely not as squishy as I would like like if I just show you guys this is my Kmart sponge sorry it's dirty I don't know I'll try and use it but if it's not the greatest then I will just use my Kmart sponge all the way. All right, I think I'm gonna do eyes first today just in case we get full out on the face. So I have this palette here, the Sweet on the Inside Peach Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. It is so stunning. So that's a new one to my collection. In my last video, I, pe I featured this Pretty as a Peach Palette. So go check that video out. I'll link it down below. And then this is another new palette to me. This is the Everything's Rosy Eye and Cheek Palette. So you get your blush, bronzer, and then nine eyeshadows. And then I have this little gift set, which I'll try and use today too. This is the Glitterati Eyeshadow Trio. So these are just liquid eyeshadows. These look stunning if I do say so myself. So yeah, I really don't know what to do, but let's just zoom you guys in and see what we can do okay you guys so i've just gone in and filled on my brows on camera sports girl don't really have an eyebrow product currently that intrigues me if they bring out an eyebrow pomade which is my choice of like favorite choice of brow product then i will buy it but they currently only have one of those rectangular brow definer things and i have so many of those so that's why i just skipped out on brows so now for the eyeshadow palette We've got the Sweet on the Inside palette, which I have had a bit of a play with, and it is stunning. This blue shade here is gorgeous. If I think of it, I will insert swatches here for you guys of this palette, so you can have a little look-see into the palette. And then we have the Everything Rosy palette, which looks like this. 
So I'm just going to look at the palettes and see what kind of Christmassy look we can come up with. I'm probably going to go with this palette and then I'll feature this palette in a future video. But I am going to use this palette for the bronzer and all that. So let's go in with... Actually, I tell a lie. I'm going to take this palette first and I'm going to take the shade Eden, which is this matte shade here, which is going to go all over my lid. It's perfect for that. So that is what I'm going to do. The other one doesn't really have a creamy shade that will go all over the lid like this one. And don't get it all in your lashes like I just did. Also, to carve out my brows, I used this Sports Girl Concealer. This one is the Tate Cover Concealer. I actually really enjoy it. It's pretty good for the price. And as you can see, this creamy matte shade Eden out of this Everything Rosy palette is working great. And you know what's funny? It actually does have a rose scent. Like, I find that their eyeshadow palettes, they do target them to smell like... Yeah, it says on the back. Everything rosy when you're sweetly scented and have the ultimate eye look. So I've noticed that their palettes where this one says look as pretty as a peach and just to smell as sweet. And again, if you smell close enough, then you can smell peach. I think that's such a good idea, if I'm honest with you guys. So I like that. It's not overpowering. You literally have to put your nose up to it if you want to smell anything. But yeah, I like that little touch. So I'm going in with the first shade Nude from the Sweet on the Inside palette. So taking Nude. And that is going to go in my crease. Now this is like a peach smoothie type of shade. So a perfect transition-y shade. And I hope you guys can see the colour payoff. But it's amazing. And I'm just using a Wet n Wild. I think this might be the crease brush. This brush is really good. Also, I will have a brush video coming soon. Sports Girl do have brushes, I just haven't really picked up any of them. They're not badly priced, so I might pick some up for my next Sports Girl video. I might make this a series because Sports Girl honestly just keep coming out with hot products, so I'm going to keep making these videos, and you guys seem to appreciate them and enjoy them. My last one did pretty well. The foundation was kind of a disaster in the last video, and I haven't touched the foundation since, but I have a new foundation to test in this video, which is exciting. So yeah, but that video, I got some awesome goodies. I shared it with you guys. So definitely go check that out. I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, I'll definitely keep doing these. If you guys want to see more and all the different palettes, I'll keep collecting their palettes. So yeah, now I'm going in with the next shade, Sand which is this brown tone shade here. And I'm going to take the shade next to it also called Sorbet and just mix the two together. These are so pigmented. And I actually really love the smell of this palette. I'm going to take a more tapered blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade Sand and Melba. So these two dark shades here. And I'm kind of just going to build that into my outer V a bit. So I'm just taking Sand first, which is just a really nice brown shade. And I'm just going to pack that in there and kind of work it into my lower crease. And then take Melba. And deepen that up again. Now, I definitely will be doing more Christmassy holiday looks. I just thought I would try and do something fun for this look. And obviously, if this is not holiday appropriate to you, that is also totally fine. But, I mean, to be honest, I would wear any kind of makeup for Christmas or holidays. It doesn't really bother me too much. Okay, so I've been trying to figure out what kind of colour combination I want to do. Now, going back into the peach shade, 
I'm going to take this shade here, which is golden. Now, I'm going to use one of the Trio eyeshadows anyway, so it's not really a big deal, but I am going to wet my brush just to set this down. So, the shade golden. And I don't know if you guys can see, but these are super pigmented and nice. Now, these shades are kind of crumbly, but that's because they're super pigmented. Like, I've got a bit of fallout, but that's why I kind of barely ever do my face before my eyes. So, yeah, that is golden. It's more of a dark bronzy shade, but I really do enjoy it. It's stunning. So now let's just do the same to the other eye. Now I'm going to take this goldy shade from the Glitterati Trio and I'm going to go over where I just popped that other colour down just to add some more sparkle and shine to the lid. Okay, so my eyes are done. Um, I'm not 100% a fan of the glitter little eyeshadow I tried out, the Trio. I mean, it's okay. I believe it was only $15 for the three. So if it's something that you think you'd be interested in, definitely give it a go for the price. But it's just not as intense. I don't know if you guys can even see it. It's not as intense as like a liquid eyeshadow that I love. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's just kind of chunky. It's just going to flake off. So, yeah, I'm not 100% of that gold glitter. Like, I'm not for it at the minute. But it's not too bad. But definitely not my favourite. I definitely prefer a liquid eyeshadow that's like, bam, on your eyes. But, yeah. So, this is how the eyes are looking. I might try the silver one out in my inner corner towards the end of the video. So, let's move on. I have this other face primer. This is their Time to Prime blurring face primer so I'm going to use this in the center of my face where I would typically get pores it actually has little specks of glitter in it so I'm only going to use a little bit through the center of my face because obviously we used the illuminating primer for the other bit of my face but yeah all that glitter from my eyes is falling onto my face so that is going to hella annoy me for the day but Anyways, what I've been doing is mixing the glow drops in with my serum primer and I've been loving that. So if you want a dewy base, I would definitely try doing that. Now I'm taking their brand new no filter foundation stick. You're probably not going to be able to see it, but it's a soft matte touch. You can kind of see the logo there and then it's got the shade name on the bottom. And then here's what the stick looks like. I got the shade beige. It's kind of pinky. Their shades aren't that great on their website, if I'm being 100% honest. But, you know, I'm just going to make this work. I have actually tried this before because I wanted to make sure this video wasn't going to be a disaster. So, that's why I tried it prior to this video. And it actually looks pretty good. I just wish it was more yellow toned and not so pink. So just keep that in mind and they only have three shades of this foundation. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you guys want to buy this. Okay, so here's how my skin is looking. I actually really like how it looks. I actually do enjoy this foundation stick. It's quick, it's easy, it's really good. I feel like that blur, blur, blurring primer worked a treat. I used my Morphe E6 brush to blend it out and I feel like I look pretty flawless considering. I mean, a foundation stick is one of those things where you just slap it on, blend it out and you're good to go. Other than the fact that it's a bit pinky, I mean, I wish that was different, but it's not too bad. I think I try and make it work 
But yeah, I'm not super, super mad at it. I think it looks pretty good. Now let's move on to these highlight and contour sticks. Now I got the shade light. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's very light. And then you've got the shimmery side. So there's the matte side and the shimmery side. Let's use the matte side underneath my eyes. This is creamy. This seems creamier than the foundation stick, which is probably a good thing. Now, I don't typically use these kind of things under my eyes, so I don't know how it's going to go, but we are just going to see. So this is the matte shade, and I'm going to take the Beauty Blender that they is in the kit, just to see how it blends out. So it blends pretty well. Not 100% a fan of the sponge, but I'm going to use my own and see how that goes. So I'm actually not mad at how the highlight stick blended out. I think it blended out pretty well. Actually, I might try the highlight. The... The illuminating side okay it's not as creamy but if I warm it up on the back of my hand take some on my fingers and then apply it to my face mm, it's not that beaming compared to their glow drops it's not that beaming so I might use the glow drops soon and see how that goes I don't know we'll see anyways let's go on to the contour pop it out you get a contour and a bronze so I'll show you these two shades so you get a cool tone and then a warm tone so I'm gonna use the cool tone no I'm gonna use the warm tone and I'm gonna see how this goes now people have told me not to cream contour my forehead in the past because I have a small forehead in the first place but honestly if I want to cream contour my forehead I'm going to cream contour my forehead. It's actually not something I do all the time, but a little bit ain't going to hurt. All right, I'll go in with their sponge first and see how it goes. Mm, not a fan of the sponge. So these blend out pretty nicely. I would say definitely creamy and yeah I'd say easy to blend all right so that is the cream contour sticks I'll definitely get use out of those in the future they work pretty good in my opinion now I'm going to go into the everything's rosy palette and take the bronzer um, sports girl also have like single bronzers and stuff if you guys want to purchase them but I just bought this palette because it's so like multi-use multi-function which is amazing and this bronzer I actually love this bronzer out of this kit Okay, now moving on to blush and highlight. I am going to take this peachy blush out of this Complexion Perfection palette. And we're just going to brush blush up the cheeks. This palette is amazing. I think this palette cost me $30 and I love it. It's so good, you guys. You get six highlighters and three blushes. Now taking all three of the top highlighter shades and we are going to highlight the face. Whew, that glow though. See, these highlighters are so good and so intense. And you get so many to choose from out of this palette. So 
Highly recommend this palette. Okay, let's move back on to the eyes to finish off with. I'm going to take Nude and Sherbet and just run that underneath the lower lash line. I am then going to take one of these glitter things again. This one's a silver glitter and I'm just going to stamp that in my inner corner. I probably should use this one on my lid. It's stunning. It's like a silver glitter, perfect for holiday season. Okay, and to finish off with lips, I'm going to use two of their matte lip chalks in the shade Hot Orange and Hottie. I'm going to mix these two together to hopefully create the perfect shade, which is this shade on my hand. It is a bit bright, but I don't actually have like a true Christmassy, really nice red. So I'm just going to mix these two together. Also, these won't be available currently because these are pretty old, but they do have a new red in their new shade. They bought these out in a velvet finish, which I'm yet to try. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I will, and that will be featured in next upcoming Sports Girl videos if you still want to see them. So yeah, let's just go in with these. Okay, and then the very last thing to do is finish off with the All Day Spray Illuminating Makeup Spray. Now, I haven't used this one yet. This one, again, came in that little kit, which is such good value. If I didn't mention, it was $29.95. Oh, wow, this is not a good spritz. Oh. All right, that is one of the most powerful spritzes ever okay so the setting spray was a disaster i don't like the mister however the finish is gorgeous and i really am happy with how this overall look turned out i know the lip is a bit bright so i apologize this is more like a summer look i couldn't really do anything christmasy um i mean i would still rock this look on christmas day so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look the new products i rate everything everything was pretty damn good except the little glitter that I tried on my eye. However, the silver one is really nice, but they are just a tad chunky and flake off, so just keep that in mind. But the foundation stick was great. I love their glow drops. It's amazing. I'll have to test this time to prime primer out the blurring face primer with other foundations. The illuminating face primer that I tried at the start also seems pretty good. So that'll be another one that you'll see in videos testing all that. So yeah, I'll just have to try a few of these different products in a few different combinations. Same with the contour and highlight sticks. They seemed really good also. I do love their matte lip chalks, but they are just a tad drying, so I can't wait to try the Velvet formula. But yeah, I think that wraps up all the products, a little rundown. Their eyeshadow palettes are stunning. Literally, if you're going to pick up anything, glow drops and the eyeshadow palettes. Really, really good. So yeah, however, that being said, I love all sports girl makeup. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see continued on videos of sports girl makeup in the future. I can definitely do that, get all their new products as they come out with them. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to get notified when I upload a video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to today's video and I'll be sure to catch you in my next one. Bye you guys.